Aflatoxin is a term that strikes fear into the hearts of farmers, food processors, and consumers alike. This potent toxin produced by certain molds poses a significant threat to peanuts and other crops. But fear not. In this video, we will explore essential tips on how to prevent and deal with aflatoxin in peanuts, ensuring that our beloved snack remains safe and healthy. First, let's understand what aflatoxin is. Aflatoxins are toxic compounds produced by the Aspergillus species of molds, particularly Aspergillus flavus and Aspergillus parasiticus. These molds thrive in warm, humid environments, making peanuts particularly susceptible to contamination. Aflatoxins are not only harmful to the crops, but can also pose serious health risks to humans and animals, including liver damage and cancer. Therefore, prevention and management are crucial. The first tip in preventing aflatoxin contamination is to focus on proper agricultural practices. Farmers should start by selecting high-quality, resistant peanut varieties. Some peanut cultivars have been bred to resist mold growth, reducing the likelihood of aflatoxin contamination. This is a proactive step that can make a significant difference in the overall health of the crop. Next, soil management plays a vital role. Healthy soil leads to healthy plants. Farmers should practice crop rotation, which can disrupt the life cycle of molds and pests. Rotating peanuts with non-host crops, such as corn or soybeans, can help reduce the buildup of aflatoxin-producing molds in the soil. Additionally, maintaining proper soil moisture levels is essential. Overly wet or overly dry conditions can stress the plants, making them more susceptible to mold growth. Regular soil testing can help farmers understand the nutrient levels and pH balance, allowing for better crop management. Now, let's talk about planting practices. Timing is everything. Planting peanuts at the right time can help avoid peak conditions for mold growth. Ideally, peanuts should be planted when soil temperatures are consistently above 65 degrees Fahrenheit. This timing helps ensure that the plants can establish themselves before the onset of the hot, humid conditions that favor mold growth. As the peanuts grow, proper irrigation management becomes crucial. Overwatering can create a damp environment that encourages mold growth, while drought stress can weaken the plants, making them more vulnerable. Implementing a well-planned irrigation system can help maintain optimal moisture levels in the soil. Once the peanuts are ready for harvest, it's essential to handle them with care. Harvesting should take place during dry conditions, as wet peanuts can lead to increased mold growth. Farmers should aim to harvest peanuts when the moisture content is around 10 to 15 percent. Using proper harvesting equipment that minimizes damage to the pods can also reduce the risk of mold contamination. After harvesting, the next critical step is drying the peanuts. This process is vital in preventing aflatoxin development. Peanuts should be dried quickly and efficiently to reduce moisture content to below 10%. Farmers can use mechanical dryers or spread the peanuts out in thin layers in a well-ventilated area. The key is to ensure that the drying process is uniform and thorough. Storage conditions also play a significant role in preventing aflatoxin contamination. Peanuts should be stored in a cool, dry place, ideally with a relative humidity of less than 65%. Using airtight containers can help keep moisture at bay and prevent mold growth. It's also wise to regularly inspect stored peanuts for any signs of mold or spoilage. If any contaminated peanuts are found, they should be removed immediately to prevent the spread of aflatoxin. Now, let's discuss the importance of testing for aflatoxins. Farmers and processors should implement regular testing protocols to monitor aflatoxin levels in peanuts. This can be done using various methods, including enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, ELISA kits, or high-performance liquid chromatography, HPLC. Early detection is key, as it allows for timely intervention and prevents contaminated peanuts from reaching consumers. In addition to preventive measures, it's essential to have a plan in place for dealing with aflatoxin contamination if it occurs. If aflatoxin levels are found to be above acceptable limits, the affected peanuts should be disposed of properly. This may involve incineration or burying the contaminated peanuts to prevent any further exposure. Another option for dealing with contaminated peanuts is to use sorting and cleaning techniques. Advanced technologies such as optical sorting can help identify and remove contaminated peanuts from the batch. While this may not eliminate all aflatoxin, 
it can significantly reduce the risk of contaminated peanuts reaching consumers. Education is another crucial aspect of prevention and management. Farmers, processors, and consumers should be educated about the risks of aflatoxin and the importance of proper handling and storage practices. Workshops, training sessions, and informational materials can help spread awareness and promote best practices in peanut production. Furthermore, collaboration among farmers, agricultural extension services, and food safety organizations can enhance efforts to prevent aflatoxin contamination. Sharing knowledge, resources, and best practices can lead to more effective prevention strategies and a healthier peanut supply chain. Lastly, let's not forget about the role of consumers in this fight against aflatoxin. Being informed about food safety and proper storage practices can help consumers make safer choices. Peanuts should be stored in airtight containers in a cool, dry place, and any signs of mold or spoilage should be taken seriously. If consumers suspect that their peanuts may be contaminated, they should not hesitate to contact the supplier or discard the product. In conclusion, preventing and dealing with aflatoxin in peanuts requires a multifaceted approach. From selecting resistant varieties and practicing good soil management to implementing proper harvesting, drying, and storage techniques, every step counts. Regular testing and education are essential to ensure that everyone involved in the peanut supply chain is aware of the risks and best practices. By working together, we can protect our peanuts from aflatoxin contamination and enjoy this nutritious snack with peace of mind. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe for more essential tips on food safety and agriculture.